Hi guys, Ronnie here and welcome to another edition of our aero testing series. Today we are optimizing the position for a Polish time trialist, uh, Gabriela. Uh, the first steps that we've done were back in the workshop where we have optimized her position in terms of the biomechanics of her pedaling. As Well, this was basically the bike fit section and uh, we don't always do this with uh, aero testing but this time it was really really helpful because she had some discrepancies in her leg length and yeah just some uh, things that needed to be set up to give a better power output and uh, better comfort as well so we used some cleat spacers and shims uh, to adjust the these were the most significant uh, things uh, in terms of her shoes and shoe setup and we did some tweaks to the saddle height and setback and now uh, we are doing normal aero testing as a follow-up so the first things uh, as most of the times uh, we'll test a few different helmets to see what works for her and then uh, well since it's a triathlon bike we have quite open options in the position as well so next we'll look into that we have just done a calibration run. We have nice conditions with low wind and high temperature also. Uh, the baseline CDA is uh, a bit higher than I would like to like it to be for her size. So there's definitely room for improvement. So that's what this afternoon will be about. Young legend in the making Heard they was salty so I shake them Yeah, I heard them hating But a nigga been patient In my room just pacing Marathon lifestyle We've been running different races Taking the risk is the same My fish will be in catching cases So I'm stacking up faces Trying to show them different places Cause they only need to wait out Ain't had much but stand down Stand up and we stand down Looking like for a handout But let me know how that pan out The boy spit it in pop time Keep up with the rock stars You can catch us with the bandits in the high car If they try to pull us over, it is not ours Ayy, I got a feeling like a pop star She says she's sick and tired of love, she just won't pour I know they didn't think that we would make it this far I know they didn't think that we would take it this far You boys sweeter than pop stars Out here trying to keep up with the rock stars You can catch us with the bandits in the high car With the bike fit, I'm glad that we've done that because, um, as I mentioned earlier, there were some big discrepancies in, in the correct fit. Uh, the pedal stroke was not very nice, quite choppy. So we managed to stabilize Gabriella quite a lot on the bike. This will improve her comfort. Uh, maybe not power directly, but indirectly, yes. And of course the aerodynamics because she's more static in the position. Then we went on for the test and uh, to be honest, this was not uh, what we usually expect from the tests. So we've done the first few runs. The first thing I wanted to remove was the front hydration system because this didn't allow her to put her head down. So to be honest, I expected a big improvement there. But actually, when we tested it first, uh, it was a lot worse, uh, which was a big surprise for me. But anyway, then we kept the hydration system 
started tweaking with the position first because well normally we start with the helmets but compared to her size her CDA was just really damn high it was around 0 0.22 to 0 0.23 so that's really not what we want mm, so I wanted to get her into a decent position first before we test the helmets uh, so yeah I just thought that it would be a better way to do that but regardless of what we've done uh, the CDA just went upwards which is strange uh, so then we went back to the first position, we tested the helmets and then again, no matter which helmet we tested, the CDA just went up, up, up. Uh, so at that point I knew that something isn't adding up. I checked everything, I rechecked the tire pressures, I rechecked the chain lubrication, all the brakes didn't rub, everything, everything on the bike. So then I came to the conclusion, because it was quite a hot day and you know, when I before each run, I zero reset the power meter. And usually she had a four eye power meter and the temperature was steadily increasing. And despite that, uh, the calibration factor of the power meter, it always returned the same number. So for some reason, it was not compensating for the temperature drift. And even though she was riding basically the same power in reality because the speeds were pretty much the same and her effort was pretty much the same the power kept creeping up so our cda kept creeping up and it dismantled all of this data that we have recorded before it was useless frankly and i didn't trust it so luckily i had a pair of these power link pedals with me uh, yeah somewhere here which uh, i trust quite a lot and she was also on a speed play setup. So we swapped to these and basically rerun everything from the beginning. And uh, yeah, starting with the hydration system, we removed that. And this enabled her to lower her head position by four centimeters. But this didn't improve her CDA by much at all. Uh, so yeah, that was a surprise. Then we checked the helmets, again her own helmet, the med drone was the fastest, so we kept that and finally, finally we managed to find a small improvement when we changed her stack height to a lower one, but it wasn't very impressive to be honest and her overall CDA is still not very good uh, compared to her body size, so Unfortunately, things like this happen. We tried our best. We were out here for six hours and yeah, normally we can make some decent improvements uh, in that time, but it didn't happen this time. Uh, so yeah, that's how it went yesterday. I think it's just uh, or more or less the Canyon bike that is, it sucks a little bit. It's slow because we've tested a few of them now and we didn't get great results at all, this, no matter what we've done. So yeah, maybe there's just a pattern there. So yeah, maybe next time when it changes her bike setup a little bit, then we can do some bigger improvements uh, to be more on trend with the other things or, or other riders that we see here in the test. So yeah, that's how it went. I hope you have found this informational or useful in some way. If you want to test your own Canyon or other bike uh, for aerodynamics to improve your position, then of course we can do the same for you, hopefully with bigger results, like usually. Uh, so if you're interested in that, you can find the link down below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.